How to use Epify, Epify tutorial for beginners step by step. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use Epify. So basically if you'll ask ChatGPT what is Epify, it will answer that Epify is a platform for web scrapping, automation and data management on the internet. It provides tools and services that allows users to extract, process and store data from web pages, which is pretty cool. With Epify you can create scrapping scripts and that automatically extract data from websites and save it in a convenient format. You can also set up scripts to automatically update data at regular intervals. Basically, it's pretty cool. In addition, Epify also provides tools for automating businesses processing, including monitoring websites for changes, running automated tests and much more. Epify is a powerful tool for anyone who needs a fast and efficient way to extract and manage data on the internet. So basically they provide us the opportunity to like, get information from different websites. As you can see they have a lot of like partners, Accenture, Siemens, Share, Samsung, Decathlon and so on. So sometimes it could be really challenging to have a good web scrapper. So basically the Epify solves this problem. And uh, here we are on their main website epify.com. And from this page here, we can find a lot of information about their products, Epify Store, Crowley, Call Templates, Actors, Integrations, Proxy, Stores, and Epify CLI. Also, all the solutions I described here and the resources. We can also find the prices. We'll discover them a little bit later. And in order to create an account, we just simply need to click on Sign Up for free. And from this page here, uh, we can easily create an account with our email or we can sign up with the Gmail or GitHub account if you have. So we can get started with a free plan. Take AP5 for a test drive. You can always upgrade later. 5 bucks platform free usage every month. Max extra memory 4 gigabytes. Data retention for 7 days and Discord support. So it's pretty cool that they provide us the opportunity to use their service for free. And also they have like 15,000 companies from uh, 179 countries, Microsoft, Samsung and so on. As for me, it's pretty cool. So we can simply sign up and we'll come to our like uh, home page. From this page here, we can find a lot of information. Uh, in the left side, there is a menu with home, store, actors, schedules, storage, proxy, settings, billings and so on. And on the store area, we can find a lot of results with the web scrapper, Google search uh, results scrapper and so on. So basically, there is like more than 1000 resu uh, results. So um, with the help of these tools, we can easily find all the information from different store from different websites from the google search results scrapper and also like instagram profile scrapper and so on so for example with instagram we can scrape all instagram profile info add one or more instagram usernames and extract followers and follower count url so all the information could be get with the help of uh, bas basically epify so if we'll come to the page with a web scraper, if we'll click on it, we'll come to this page where we need to fill basic configuration with run mode, start URLs, like options, link selector, globe patterns, uh, pseudo URLs and so on. So all the features should be described right up here. And after that, we'll run our, our scraper. Basically, it's pretty cool. So, for example, for a free TikTok scraper, we can, this free version of TikTok scraper will get you up to 20 videos and 5 comments per run. Use it to extract data about videos, users, and channels based on hashtags or scrape full user profiles, including polls, total likes, name, nickname, numbers of comments, shares, followers, following, and more. So, basically, we can get any information from different platforms with the help of Epify and I think it's pretty cool. So in the storage area we can find all of the scrapes in our like in the necessary format. So as you can see it looks like this. The size is like right up here and we can also like download everything we need from this page here. And also if we'll come to our settings we can find all the account settings we can manage. Basically first name, last name, bio, URL, GitHub link. We can also change the password at the Google account, 
uh, change the github account and basically as for ease this is like like that and if you'll try to uh, discover the paid plans we can find that they have like five plans free one starter scale business enterprise and uh, the starter is starts from 49 dollars per month scale 499 and business 999 per month so we can find a lot of uh, differences here in at least in ram in max concurrent runs uh, rented actors for example uh, we have like limited for free educated from prepaid page on starter and the same for scale and business if we will try to compare ram we can find 8 gigabytes for free 32 for starter 128 for scale and 256 for business so there are a lot of uh, differences in these plans and if you're trying to compare i suggest you to you know uh, discover it by yourself because there are a lot of different uh, you know advantages and disadvantages for example for somebody it will be easier to work with starter for somebody it will be easier to work with scale and of course we are if we are going to pay, uh, bill not monthly but yearly we can save up to maybe 10 percent as you can see uh, for billing early so i think it's pretty cool uh, the differences are right up here and as for me it's pretty cool if you'll come to uh, their products to epify store uh, we can find all the uh, web scrapping with ready made actors for example with actor about web scraper we can just simply come here and as you can see uh, web scraper is a generic easy to say actor for crawling arbitrary web pages and extracting structured data from them using a few lines of javascript called the actor loads web pages in the uh, chromium browser and renders dynamic content web scraper can either be configured and run manually in a user interface or uh, programmatically using the api the extracted data is stored in a data set from where it can be exported to various formats such as json xml or csv if you are not familiar with web scraping or front-end web development in general you might prefer to start with web scraping 101 in apify documentation and then continue with scraping with web scraper a tutorial so we can find the tutorial right up here so as you can see there are a lot of options we can easily use and i think it's pretty cool so as you can see they're free 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 and some of them could be paid for example we have a trial for tiktok scrapper and then like 45 dollars per month so this is a way of how can we use epify how oh, guys this video helped you out if it is please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye